Hey, Donald Miller here. So, um, I don't usually make a video about comments, okay? If someone asks me to make a video, I'll make a video. But I have a guy, I guess, making comments on my channel um, stating how don't get into the trades, go to college, blah, 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 the trades don't pay, and all this negative stuff, okay? And I don't have a clue what reality he's living in, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, there's plenty of tradesmen making over a hundred grand a year after doing a four-year apprenticeship underneath a master electrician. Typically, and you know, that's why I'm constantly saying that this is not a job. This is a career, okay? An apprenticeship is difficult. It takes four years. It's no different than going to college, all right? Except you get paid during your apprenticeship. And you've, during apprenticeships, people have been getting paid for hundreds of years, all right? If you want to go back and look historically on apprenticeships, go to Ben Franklin, Okay, he wrote a book on how to live on 15 pence a day. And the reason he did that was because apprentices were given 15 pence a day to live on. Okay, and they lived in boarding houses and then would go to their trade during the day. So apprentices have been around for hundreds of years. I'm sorry that the generation today doesn't want to live by the by historical standards but that's what apprentices are all right you dedicate yourself to a trade for four years it's a rough time period you yes you have to learn how to eat you have to learn how to sleep you have to learn habits of that trade and I've, I've spoken about this before as well so if you're in the trades there's certain habits you're going to form. And to be a successful tradesman, you're going to live within those boundaries, okay? And we've talked about this before where a chef's lifestyle is based on him working at night. Where a tradesman's lifestyle is him working during the day, okay? If you want to get into asking about diets, and uh, I talk about diets because I'm, I talk about getting into rhythms and apprentices learning how to build a rhythm to be productive during a day. Because if you produce during your eight hour work period and you produce quality products, you advance in your apprenticeship quicker. I don't know why this guy's commenting like this is so impossible for mechanics to ask their apprentices to start trying to become a mechanic I, I like this guy's thinking because we're asking our apprentices to learn a better way of doing things we're asking the impossible of them and it's comical in a way because we're gearing the apprentices to become mechanics then master mechanics so they can generate an income that can easily be lived upon. And I wanna make sure everyone understands this. You enter your apprenticeship making next to nothing. While in college, you have to pay them to go to college. In an apprenticeship, you're getting paid. So right off the bat, if you enter the trade, you get paid to learn the trade, okay? It's not a job. You're in an apprenticeship, you're learning the trade. And you're being compensated for it. And you get compensated more as the years go on and you progress in the trade. When you enter the trade, you're paid next to nothing. So, like It's not minimum wage, but it's not something to live upon. Okay, And as you excel in the trade and you become better and better and better, you're compensated more and more and more. And master mechanics easily clear a hundred grand a year the hvac trade holy wait the stuff they're getting paid in hvac is insane some of those guys are making 200 grand a year so 
the negative comments I'm receiving because I describe nothing more than an apprenticeship and teaching guys rhythms and teaching guys how to eat correctly and how to sleep correctly and, and things that'll make them a better mechanic. All of a sudden I'm invading their way of life. Well, don't be a tradesman. It's that simple. If, go to college. Okay. He's saying something about, um, coming out of college, you make 60 grand a year. That's great. Becoming a master mechanic, you make a hundred. Okay. It takes four, maybe five years to become a master mechanic. If, if you put in the time and same thing if, with college, you're paying them to go to college. So you get, you get your degree in four to five years. Same thing, apprenticeships, four to five years, but at least during your apprenticeship, you're being compensated because you're learning the trade, all right? And then after you're a master mechanic, you can go anywhere you want in the field. However much money you want to make, you can go make it. But that's that's a very fair compensation. Are there flaws in our trade? Yes, there's definitely underpaid people in our trade, okay? But... The underpaid people, there's usually, there's issues for that, okay? Whatever it may be, they're working for a bad company, leave the company, okay? They're not skilled in their trade, learn the trade better, all right? It's, it's the ladder of the electrical trade is amazing, and that's what I don't understand. Like, in the electrical trade, it's very easy to see how you can step up and get raises and go to the next level and go to the next level and be compensated fairly all the way through. If you choose that you do not want to better yourself or you do not want to change and you continue to have bad habits, then you're going to be paid in accordance to those bad habits. Sorry. I have nothing else to say in this video except for that, that I'm surprised that a couple of my videos of how to get apprentices in line to become a mechanic are getting backlash by some negative comments. I was I, like, I don't know what to tell you, okay? But no, the trades pay very well to the ones that apply themselves and become tradesmen. To the other people that don't, it's just a job to them. And yes, in the electrical trade, there's plenty of people that view the trade as just a job. Okay, you're going to get paid that way. To the ones that view it as a career, you will also be paid that way. So, don't know what to tell you. God bless. Enjoy your Friday, everyone.